Hi folks, so in this video I'm just going to do a quick little introduction of how to use smart thinking in case you want to. It's a very helpful resource. So if you go to content, the very last link um, underneath all of our units is smart thinking. So if you open this, it's going to tell you it's an external learning tool and you'll click on it and it'll take you to this screen. And it does a system check and you guys will have a login and it's probably going to take you back to the system check, which is annoying, but it's fine. Just wait a second. Just be patient. Um, okay. And so what you guys can do is you can choose to work with a tutor or career coach and they're really quite good. Um, I have submitted questions to them before and I've been really pleased with the answers and the level of detailed feedback I got back. You can submit your papers, your planners too. Um, so you would maybe work with a tutor if you had if you wanted to talk one on one about a particular um, a particular issue. They have uh, in fact we'll look at it. If you click on this, you can sign up for appointment times to schedule a future session and you choose what so Let's say the drop-ins, because everything's online right now, you can choose a drop-in session if you're sort of in a panic about something, but it might be a little more dicey just because the volume of people taking classes online. So if you choose schedule future se a session, you can choose writing, um, and then you can choose live essay review, writing all subjects, research and documentation. So we'll say writing all subjects. Um, and so... Looks like, yeah, maybe it's defaulting to the to <laughs> tomorrow. So it looks like today might be full up. Uh, but you can see that the, yeah, look at that. Uh, you can see that there are appointments that you can choose for Thursday, for instance. Uh, you can also choose this ask a question, which is in the main screen where you can just send a question. So let's say you are confused about how to cite a source within a source. You can send a question to them and they will get back to you. Because you're logging in through your Dell Tech, they know your email address and they'll email right back to your uh, email address when your feedback, is, when your question's answered or your feedback is ready. I tested that out a couple times before we transitioned to doing more things online. Um, and the, the response time was typically within several hours. Um, they might be a little swamped these days though. So um, if we go back to this writing center, this was another one of those options you saw at the beginning. Computer's being slow. Come on, writing center. Oh, I'm not clicking the right thing. Submit my <laughs> writing uh, documents. So you can choose to actually send, and I would choose essay center. You can choose to send your documents through here. Um, you would give the course name, uh, the name of your title, uh, the title of your paper here. You would want to include if there were anything, anything specific. So let's say you want to do this for um, your critical thinking essay. Um, I would say reflective essay. And I would even maybe the prompt. I would cut and paste the prompt right in here if I were you guys. Whichever one you chose, I would cut and paste prompt one, prompt two, prompt three in there just so they would have an idea. And you get to select up to two areas in which you need help. So look back at your planner. And if I was saying, um, look out for your introduction, your hook isn't very good, this might be a good thing to choose. Um, if it seems like um, my comment was that you've got too many major details or your details are all over the place or your paper is coming off as more of a story than a reflective um, a reflective essay looking at a particular experience, you might want to choose organization. Or if you know that you're not great with word choice or sentence structure, you can choose those things. Um, I would always choose first available. And then just like you would attach an email, you would choose your file and attach it like that and then hit submit. And like I said, they'll get back to you. Um, let's see if I can go back to the main page. They'll get back to you by sending you an email. And also when you log into Smart Thinking, you can review anything that they have um, previously done. So you can see if I choose this, um, I just asked a bunch of questions uh, and you can see this is the level that you'll get back. So I asked the question, how do I cite, a, oh, I made a typo, a source that is citing another source in APA. Hey, that was the example I used. So um, this is the level of feedback that you'll get. So it's pretty impressive. Um, and I would say that I got that back within a couple hours. Um, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And here you can see that I've asked other questions. I asked this one, this one was a trick. And this is how I know that they're on the ball. I asked, which APA should I use? Um, and they were like, well, you need to ask your instructor, which is exactly what I wanted them to say. Um, so this is the level of attention that you can expect back. So it's a really helpful service and I recommend you try it out.